Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna do the build a survey form, a web design project on FreeCodeCamp. So it should be very very fun. Okay, so let's let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is we need to build a title. Let's H1. Let's call it uh, spicy burger survey. Spicy food, really good. Okay, so body, let's make sure everything's aligned in the center. Text, align, center. Okay, so now everything's gonna be aligned in the center. Now we wanna create the structure of the page. So we want everything to be in the middle, or the form to be in the center of the page. And we want to have some margin. So we can create a form element here. Form ID equals survey form. Close this div, close this form. So now if you want some text, some dummy text, test. And, and then if we select the survey form, survey form, and add a background color, we should be able to see, yeah, so it's the the form element stretches right across the screen. What we want is it to be like the width to be less, and we want it to be centered in the page, in the middle of the page. So let's adjust the width. So let's make it 900 px. So now this is a lot less. And now we can center it. So we can do um, margin zero auto. I'll center in the middle of the page. So there you go. That's beautiful. So now what we want to do is now we have that we want to start creating the inputs. So for each input, for each input we want to make a div, and with a with a class we want to have its own row. So we can call it row, um, call it row tab div that. So then let's select row tab, and we want to have a certain width. So the width can be. With. Um, actually, we don't want it to have a width, sorry. So we want to just display both. Display both. Okay, so now let's create an input. Let's create a label first. So label. And we want this label to have some div, of course, div class equals label uh, uh, burger. And this label to be, what's the first one? Name. So do name like this. So they have name. Now we want to create the, the input box so we can do. Um, let's create a div for this too. Div class equals input burger. And let's create the input box. Input type equals text. Like that. Um, yeah, that should be okay for now. Input type equals text. So now we want to make sure that these two are on the same line. So we can. First thing we can do is. To display inline blocks, so we can label burger display inline block. The same thing for input burger. Input burger display inline block. Boom. So now it's correctly centered. Let's get rid of the background color. It's very annoying. There you go. But there's one issue. So if I duplicate this, I duplicate this, but I change, I make the, the label longer. So I say um, last name. You'll see it, it'll push the input box um, across. So the input boxes are uneven. I don't think that's like, in terms of from a user perspective, it's not very good. So we don't want that to happen. We want it, all the input boxes to be level. So what we can do is we can use. Um, uh, 
um, the width. We can like make sure that the input box div is a certain width and the label div is a certain width. So we can do width, label burger, width. Uh, let's try to 40%. And then we want, we want the, it's a move. We don't want it to be on the right hand side. We want it to be on the, we don't want it to be in the center. We want it to be on the left hand side. So we can do text align um, left. See if that works. Yeah, that yeah, works well, kind of. Yeah, let, let, let's just see what happens. Uh, no, no, we want this to be on the right. Sorry, label burger to the right. Yeah, and we want the input burger, input on the left. So text align left. And we want this width to be let's say forty eight percent. Boom. There you go. So now if I add, so you can see that now it's level. So as, as much text as I add, it won't affect the input box. So I'll do that. Still won't move the input box. That's exactly what we want. Okay, great. So now we've finished the input boxes. I'm not sure if there's name, email, and number. I guess that can be age, right? So let's try change this to age. I want the input type to be a number. So now it's a number. Then we do the same thing, but for but for email. Change this to email. Boom. Perfect. Okay. It looks a bit weird, but let's add, add some padding. So let's add some padding to each to each one week. So we can do row tab padding top padding top 20 px. Let's make it more spread out. Cool. So what's the next thing we want to do? We want to create yeah, a placeholder. That's not not too hard. So we can, Inside the input element, we can do placeholder equals email. You can see the placeholder text here. Email. Same thing for <clears throat> for age. Placeholder equals age and name. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah. Placeholder equals name. Boom. Okay, what's next? So now we have to build a drop down. Okay, what is it? I don't remember this. Drop down HTML. When in doubt, Google. No, this is not what we want. <clears throat> It's called select an option. Can you see? Select an um, option. Yeah, here you go. Something like this. So I drop down list. So if we go back, if you want to create a new div, div class equals row tab. Close the div. Same thing as before. Um, div class equals uh, label. Let's put label select. Close the div. Now we want to create a label. So label should be like that. Let's say select chili. Fave. Fave chili. Or oh, actually, no. Favorite sauce. Okay, so then div class equals um, select select input. Like that. Let's paste this in and let's change this to barbecue chili oops chili mayo and ketchup. Okay, and then we want to take. So let's create another class. Select input, and we'll take this and paste it into here. Um, same thing for the label. Let's replicate the previous step. 
steps we made to make the input boxes. Label select, and then we take the label. Where is the label burger here? Here. And look, boom. There you go. Let's add this. There you go. So everything's perfectly aligned, looking very nice. So let's continue. Uh, let's see. Radio buttons. The radio buttons are a bit tricky. But let's see what we can do. So radio buttons, HTML. Okay, just input type is radio. Okay. <clears throat> so let's do the same thing as before. Um, div class equals uh, row tab. What oh, DIC? DIB. Close the div. Oops, it easy. That's why indentation is so important. Okay, there you go. This class is low tab. Then let's create a div for the labels. Div class um, radio labels. Close the div. And the div class equals radio oops input radio oops div let's change the way around labels yeah okay so let's see what we can do so we want to make let's say a few radio buttons so input type equals radio let's say name equals um, what, what do we want to do Okay, let's just say location for now. We change it later. If we need to so copy, paste this lots of times, and we want each one to have a name. So maybe we can just, I don't know if this will work or not, but let's just try. Uh, I don't think this will work. I think a label will work. Yeah, so let's try label. So label, let me wrap the Input and label. So then we keep the first one. I don't know. Um, let's use UK cities because I'm most familiar with UK cities. So London. Let's try label Nottingham. Oops. Label. Label. Um, Oxford. Okay, boom. So there we go. So let's add the label um, location. Okay, let's quickly add the CSS we need. So labels radio. Labels radio. So we'll copy this. And we need input radio. So input radio. Copy this. Boom. There you go. So that's aligned nicely. Now we just want to make this all of these. Um, I guess that's fine for now actually. We select each one. Okay, so we can, we can work on styling a bit later if we have time. Uh, what else do I need to do? I totally forgot what else I need to do. Um... Uh, I guess if you want to make all of these, like, in a column, we can just add a div to each. So let's just try div. See if this works. Div. Um, div. 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 
okay but locations at the bottom so we want location to be at the top so we can just add um, so labels radio we can add vertical line top. The top okay perfect so now we have all the different just in the different cities okay what's next checkboxes okay let's quickly see how to build checkboxes checkboxes html input type of this checkbox okay that shouldn't be too difficult so same thing again it's repeating the same process over and over again so we get um div class equals what is it row tab row tab and then Um, dev class equals checkbox. Uh, what, what do I call it? Checkbox label. Dev uh, checkbox labels. So we'll take checkbox labels. And All of this that's here, and then we'll add a label. Um, what can we do for this? A burger will come, can we let it, I don't know, bread, let's say bread, type of bread you like. So, type of bread, and then do the same thing again. So, div class equals check box um, input div input type equals checkbox a label oops label let's say what type of red is it <laughs> white just okay that's cool okay so let's see let's create the css for this checkbox input and just um copy and paste this a few times so brown and in England we have this thing called 50-50, half, half white, half brown. Yeah. Okay, it's a bit all over the place. Did this correctly aligned? What did I do wrong? Oh, I see. I don't need. I don't really need to have div and wrapped around each one. I just have one. Don't need to do that. Oh, I messed up here. Okay, I see. Scooby Doo, Jesus. Label, label. Show me a bit here. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Okay, so now we have them aligned. Let's quickly just add a div to each so that they are on their own. So they are in a column. So your white. Let's add a div here. Div and div. So now we have the checkboxes. Um, there's some formatting problem, but we can like it's not too hard to figure that one out to work that out. We'll do that later. Okay. Um, what, what else do we need? Uh, text area. So text area is not too difficult. So 
So do the same thing as before. Div class equals um, go tab div, and then we can do text. There we are. And then we can add something text area. Um, text area, and then we can just do add some text. Enter your comments here. So text. So to your comments here, you can just type, close this, and then type random stuff. Okay, then last thing I think we need to do is just add a, a button, select like submit button. So we do input type equals, equals submit, close that, and we have a submit button. Um, let's completely fix this button because it looks kind of looks terrible actually. Let's add a div class row dash tab div like that. So yeah, so it's more aligned, so everything is more aligned. Um, let's add some padding to this. So just on the fly, style equals um, padding, I don't know, 10 px, is that about? 10 uh, okay, that's not working. Input class. Button. Let's try again. Button. Um, padding. Okay, that's strange. I don't know why it's not working. Let's try the button. Button. Um, submit. Button. Okay, let's try this style equals padding 10px. Yeah, that works. I don't know why the input doesn't work, but let's use button for now. There you go, boom. Bad path. So there you go. You have a basic, really, really basic like form. And you can like customize the style and move things about, but that's the basic structure of a form. Um, let's just quickly just sort out the, the, at least I can make it look somewhat presentable. So I can do the survey form, just background, color, and also the color, purple. Like that, I guess that's, that looks, that looks, that still looks terrible. Let's try white text, white, um, color, white. I guess that looks a bit better than before. Um, Color white that's kind of a little bit better than before. I don't know. You guys can try and figure out like do your styling and stuff a bit later, but that's the basic structure. Anyway, guys, thanks for listening. Uh, thanks for all your comments on the previous video. I uh, really appreciate it. If you guys want me to do any more tutorials, just let me know. Shoot me a message or write in the comment. Peace in the streets.